Hi everyone, this is Shishi coming on to share with you uh, Lina Cuddles um, uh, January's new release. So first up, um, I'm going to share um, just a few dies that was from previous releases mixed in with the new release and then I'm going to have to come back and do a part two because this release is so large. So I have examples. So you don't have to worry about just seeing metal dies. There's like a lot of inspiration in this video. So first up is this set. I've shared it before. It's the border set as well as this is a new one. So it's a really pretty heart um, border. I used it in a different way. And then there's this cupcake uh, stamp set. It's really cute. I didn't get a chance to make any cupcakes with it. The only stamp that I use was this pretty love font right here. So I'll share with you the card that I made. It looks like this and I think it turned out really pretty. I just uh, rolled it in my die cutting machine like halfway and then I just uh, left it in the paper and then I did it on the opposite side and any of the um, hearts that fell out I used that to decorate the side and then this is where I stamped out that really pretty font of the words love and this is where I used the border set um, it was the heart border um, to decorate that going across so this is how it turned out and I will be making a ton of um, Valentine's Day cards on my channel as you guys know or if you don't know I donate tons of cards to the uh, retirement home every year so that's what you'll see in the upcoming weeks so next up is this pretty it's like a tag and I also use this nesting set this one's really pretty it has some stitching going around There's several pieces inside and I, I will link all these products in the description box below so it'll say like how many pieces are in each set and I tried to describe them as best as possible like if it's like oval style or um, door style or something like that so this is the card I came up with for this set the two sets that I just shared and this is how it looks this kind of reminds me of like watermelon or something but I love the colors and it's really nice and cheery really bright and I think this card turned out really fun I embossed it so it still says love on there so I really love all the colors so pretty so there's that inspiration for that card um, this can be a tag too or a shaker as you can see, um, if I didn't share it long enough, these little hearts right here, they come out and this cuts out where you can put like a shaker tag and this backs. Um, so there's like backing and then there's love. So I guess you can like use these loose letters for the shaker part too if you want. So there's so many possibilities with this set, but this is how I used it and really fun. So I did use this die again um, for a fun shaker card and I'm going to try to slowly shake it because I know it's like making my video weird. I've noticed uh, when I try to upload it so it shakes around it's nice and fun and lots of sparkly bits and it just says happy Valentine's Day as you can see. So that's my inspiration for that. You can use nesting sets as frames. So I just made a frame and used that set again. So really love that sparkly, fun, cheery card and the colors are so bright. Really love that. Okay, um, next um, I had the pleasure of helping out with giving ideas for the swap set. So I just stamped it out so you give um, an idea of how it stamps. So there's swap. I love swapping with you. Thank you for swapping with me. Special delivery, swap diva, um, surprise inside, swap mail, and then there's icons that you can um, put on your tags or memory decks cards 
or whatever you want. There's an envelope with a heart, and then there's an envelope going left and right. And that's how it looks, you know, when you get it. So I just thought I'd stamp it out so you can see how well it stamps. So that's in the release. And so next, um, I cut out this tag set so you have an idea of how well it cuts. So I also stamped out some of the fonts in the Happy Mail stamp. Now, um, there is an error on the nothing can't beat snail mail. So what I did is I took a craft knife and I just cut off the error and it says can't. So I just removed the apostrophe and the T. So I stamped it out so you can see once you do that, it stamps out just fine. So I believe there is going to be a correction in that set. So I mean if you did get it and there was an error in your set, if you do that, um, that's how well it stamps once you just cut off the T and the apostrophe. So mine works fine and as you can see it no longer says can't. So anyway, uh, in this set it says Nothing, mine says can beat snail mail. There's a butterfly, there's um, packages, love is in the details, happy mail, happy mail, happy mail, and then more butterflies going left and right, hearts, and another snail. So really cute set. Here's the tags cut out. And if you want to go back to the tag set, there's like a lot of tags here and then there's like these little swirls. What you can do is for some of your tags you can take the little swirls and cut them and make pockets. And then you can just take your other tags and glue them together and put them inside the little pocket. So I just stamped out Happy Mail on a package so you can see how well that stamps. and. I just cut them out so you have an idea of what, how well it cuts. So that's how that looks. So you have an idea of that. Um, next I have this uh, rose die and this nesting set right here. And I just cut out a die cut so you can see how well it cuts. And then I did make a card and I just cut out the little frame. And I also use this Thinking of You from a previous release. Um, let's see if I can put this over. It had friend in it and had these nice little flourishes and banners and hello and thanks. So I just used the Thinking of You to put that on my banner. And I made this pretty card. I love the background. I didn't want the die cut to... Um, cover up all this nice little floral that matches with the rose so I just left it open so that's what I did with that card so um, next set that I use was this nesting set it is called a flower nesting set so I'll show you what I did with it and again I use that thinking of you sentiment and I made this card I did some embossing on the flowers and I just made a big giant flower for my card and I kind of bent the le uh, the uh, petals and I embossed the background and I embossed the, the petals as well and I just layered it and made it two different two tones so it gave you a nice idea of the flower jumping out at you and then I just put the thinking of you and some some pearls, some flat back pearls in the corner. So I really love how that turned out. There's a glare right here. I apologize for that. So um, I did use this set again. I really loved it so much. It was really fun. So this next card, um, I used the bunny. I made an Easter card. So I used this little bunny and then this egg right here. I didn't use the faces, but I did use the egg and the bunny. And she has a happy Easter um, die looks like this and then she also has an Easter set and I'll go over the greetings with you 
it says Easter greetings, happy Easter to somebody, to some bunny special, um, to an extra special friend, um, Easter blessings to you, um, special Easter wishes to you, happy Easter, have a blessed Easter, and then there's different eggs uh, with different. Uh, designs there's hearts on some eggs so there's really um, a nice opportunity to make some egg um, backgrounds if you want so I did use special Easter wishes to you for the inside of my card as well as this doily from a previous release and this is the card I came up with um, I put the bunny on the front Happy Easter. This is where I used the doily and then I used that um, flower nesting set as my background with some pattern paper and two, uh, three flat back pearls. And then um, this is where I stamped special Easter wishes to you on the inside. So that's my presentation for today. I will be back uh, with the um, remainder of the release in another video so you can see more inspiration. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, links are in the description box below if you need help finding these wonderful uh, products um, so that you can craft and have fun as well. Take care and have a fabulous day.